The South Carolina Gamecocks. After starting the 1984 season 9-0 under second-year head coach Joe Morrison, South Carolina was shockingly upset by Navy the week before facing their bitter in-state rival Clemson in the season finale. The Gamecocks trailed 21-3 in the first half before battling back, and with the Tigers holding a 21-15 lead with 3.07 remaining in the game, Mike Hold orchestrated an 86-yard touchdown drive that is remembered as one of the greatest drives in school history. South Carolina beat Clemson 22-21, giving them their first 10-win season in school history. In the 1987 edition of the South Carolina-Clemson rivalry, Clemson came into the matchup as the number 8 team in the country, while the Gamecocks were ranked number 12, the highest the two teams have been ranked in the rivalry's storied history. Protecting a six-point lead late in the game, South Carolina's Brad Edwards intercepted Clemson's Rodney Williams and returned it 40 yards for a touchdown to seal the 20-7 win. The famous Black Death defense allowed just 11.8 points per game and finished the season ranked number 15. In 2005, legendary Florida head coach Steve Spurrier returned to the SEC to coach the Gamecocks and in his first season in Columbia, he led the Gamecocks to a 30-22 victory over 12th ranked Florida, snapping a 14-game losing streak to the Gators that dated all the way back to 1939. In 2010, Spurrier and the Gamecocks made more history against the Gators. This time, it was true freshman running back Marcus Lattimore who gashed Florida for 212 yards and three touchdowns on 40 carries. It was South Carolina's first ever win over Florida in Gainesville, snapping an 0 for 12 streak. And more importantly, it clinched the SEC East, sending the Gamecocks to the SEC Championship game for the first time in school history. The 2010 season was a magical one for South Carolina. On top of their first SEC Championship game appearance, the Gamecocks also beat a number one ranked team for the first time in school history when they beat Alabama 35-21. The Gamecocks held the Crimson Tide to 36 yards rushing and Steven Garcia threw for three touchdowns, including two to Alshon Jeffrey. Marcus Lattimore also rushed for 93 yards on the ground and accounted for three total touchdowns. The hit heard round the world. In the fourth quarter of the 2013 Outback Bowl against Michigan, the Wolverines ran a fake punt. And after a questionable first down measurement that had the South Carolina sideline going crazy, Jadavion Clowney took matters into his own hands. Michigan at the 41. What a hit! Ball's free! On the ground! South Carolina deserves to have it, and they do! Cloudy just says, I'll take care of business right here. South Carolina went on to win 33-28, to and the play would later win an ESPY for Play of the Year.